What is happening guys, how you doing? Welcome to my channel today. It's a very busy day. I'm just dropping videos after videos. So I've just went in to end to review these shoes. These are the Jordan Wando, the coconut milk. These are, I think, the best Jordans for this summertime. I promise you they're even better in real life. I'll show you guys in a couple of seconds. If you're new guys, make sure you subscribe as well. And also guys, make sure you like this video and enter for the giveaway. As I'm giving away the Supreme deck, this is brand new. As you guys can see, you've still got the plastic and all the Supreme stickers inside. All you gotta do is subscribe to my channel and also follow my Instagram, which I'll leave the link for down below. Screenshot that and then send it to me. Inbox me, basically DM me, and then I will add you on. So send me the screenshots of you subscribing and also follow my Instagram account. And then when I get to 4K subscribers, I'm gonna choose one person whom I'll send this personally to. So as I was saying, these Jordan 1 laws are beautiful. They are probably the best, you know, um, Jordan 1. Just best shoe, I think, in summertime. Bam, as you guys can see there. Beautiful shoe. The colors just really pop as well. I like how the, you know, the walls have got the sponge exposed, as you guys can see there. Just the materials. So it's not leather. It's just this just different material. It's this workman material, which is used for, like, you know, a lot of blue collar industrial jobs and they've put it in here on top of the canvas to finish it off and it looks really beautiful and uh, you know speaking of which i'm wearing my travis scott air force as you guys can see but now focusing on this shoe guys so you can see the sponge is doubled up you know with the tongue as well as you know just on the side where the laces are you can tell that it's been doubled up as well. Well, actually, it's been doubled across the whole shoe. And that is to make the shoe as rigid as possible. Just make the shoe, you know, as strong and durable as possible. I did say to people that when it rains, just be careful because the sponge is exposed. That's what I mean. I did get some questions. People saying like, you know, what do you mean? Like, you know, um, don't wear them uh, when, it's, when it's raining because the sponge is exposed and the sponge takes the longest to dry off. However... Also focusing on the tongue, as so not on the tongue, sorry. Also focusing on the tick as well. The tick also has the sponge on the side as well. So I like how the shoe has got that deconstructed craft-like feel about it. And the inside is black as well. And bam, look at that. This just shines. Um, I did say I'm going to buy this shoe. I'm going to buy this shoe, man, defo. So um, that's the side as well. Everything is just exaggerated. Everything is literally just exaggerated and I just love it. It's got this 3D print vibe about it, which, you know, other brands are kind of exploring that area when it comes to making shoes and do you know what it is? I'm more for it. And then you've got like the, the toe cap as well as the back panels that come in that like nice light brown color. And then you've got the black as well. As I, as I did say before that the black was really a darker shade of black and i like that because it just i think brings it out and makes it pop out versus the other lighter colors then the white as well with the stitching it just looks beautiful what do you guys think comment down below let's just play the video and speaking of which so you've got your fear of god apparel just next to the shoe so that kind of gives you an idea of what kind of you know tones that you can complement the shoe with when you're wearing your outfit then the back as well, obviously. So you've got the wheat just where the Jordan, um, but I can't even talk properly, just where the Jordan ball is. So if you guys can see the upper section on the back there with the Jordan ball. So that comes, you know, with the light kind of like, it's, it's really hard to describe what color that is, but it's like a very like kind of wheat color. And then you've got the wheat um housing around the shoe as well which again has got a 3d effect and that picks up the colors just on the three t-shirts just on the front there on your right hand side as you guys can see so there's just so much to talk about then also i like how you've got the texture on the midsole there which is just got that pattern there it's like this weird mosaic pattern which is fantastic as well and of course the black on the outer sole to tie everything together I love it, man. I really look, look at the inside as well. So the inside's black and look at the sponge that's exposed at the top. Fantastic, man. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, I'm going to buy this shoe. And I think when I buy this shoe as well, I'm only going to wear it maybe 
twice this summertime, only twice, special occasions in London, twice this summertime as well. I will do the I'll do the fit as well, where I will show you guys like you know how I'm matching the shoes to the outfit, and we'll just do that video together. So I'm gonna sign off here, guys. Thanks for watching. If you watch that video, make sure you watch this one as well. Let's run this up. That one's almost I think on two thousand two thousand views, so let's get this to probably more than that. Peace out.